Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. A few months ago I did a video on mail merge, but I did it with Microsoft Word. Now with the new dawn of things, not everyone will have Microsoft Word on their device. Persons will be using their phones and their and other smart devices. And as such, will be utilizing more of the Google platform to do their work. And so I saw it necessary to do another video for those persons who may be using Google Docs or Google Sheets, right? And they do not have Microsoft Word on their device. And so this video is basically to show you how to do mail merge using the Google software. All right, so first things first, you need to go to my drive right or your google drive once you get to google drive and how you go to google drive once you're in your gmail account right you will just click the nine dots to the top right to utilize the google apps and you will go on drive once you click drive it will open to what you're seeing here right this is my drive you will go to the top where you see my drive and you will select the down arrow. When that down arrow is clicked, you select a new folder. Now I will need to give my folder a name. I'm going to name my folder mail merge. And the reason why I'm naming my folder mail merge is because all the activities that I will be doing with mail merge, all my letters, etc. I want to be placed in one folder so I know where to find them when needed. So I'm going to write mail merge and select create. Once I select create, a folder is automatically created called mail merge. Now, as you know, with mail merge, you need to have something known as your primary document or your primary letter. And you also need to have your data source, which basically is something similar to your database, which is a list of names of the persons who will be getting the letter. Right? I have done a detailed video on mail merge that speaks about what it is and the steps to carry it out. I'm going to link that above or at the end of this video, and you can watch that to get an idea of why we are here or how do we get to this point. All right, but once you have created this folder, you need to also create your primary document. And here is my primary document. The primary document is basically the letter that you're going to be sending out to various recipients. All right, so you may have a thousand, a hundred, a hundred thousand, any amount of customers, right? Or parents, here I have something from a school to send a letter to. No person is going to sit down and type a hundred or a thousand of the same letter. It must be done using the feature known as mail merge. So all you need to do is to type one of that document, one of that letter, and you just insert the various person's name and additional information in the letter and send it out to them using mail merge. Let me enlarge my screen a bit so you can see what it is that i'm doing so here i have my merge fields as they are called so i have title first name last name and you realize i have some arrows i use two less than sign before the word then i write title and two greater than sign after i am mimicking what is called merge tags if we were in microsoft word and once we inserted or merge tags they will look something like this, however smaller. All right. Now, once you have title, you put a space between, then you do the same thing for first name, two less than signs, the word first name, then two greater than signs. You space, then last, you do the same thing for last name. Why you're putting the spaces is because you do not want, when you merge a document, for that title, that first name and that last name to all be close together we will call it each up all right you do not want it to be itched up together 
all right you want it to be properly spaced because if you do that and they are close together then you may have to do one of two things run the mail merge again or go to each document and put in that space all right and that is additional work so you need to get it perfect the first time that it is done so you do that for the person's name you do it for street you do it for town and i'm going to add parish to this and i left that out to show you how i do it do it all right so it's two less than signs then i write parish and two greater than signs and that's it now being a letter this is a blocked style letter as you can see all right so remember we don't use the punctuations before and after the body of the letter then i have dear title t-i-t -T. all right so title and last name all right so these are called my merge tags now so my letter is now complete all right the next thing that i need to do and this is my primary letter or my primary document and i will save it as such the next thing that i need to do is to create my data source so your letter is done in google docs then you need to go now to google sheets to do your data source all right so i'm just going to hop over to google sheets so here i am in google sheets and i have my name of persons there's um the name of the persons their street their town and their parish all right now a couple of things to note here um i have on some of these full stops because i'm doing the block style i will not put any full stop after the title of the person no punctuation mark because i'm doing a blocked style letter i also realize that i have for a theme a common a when it should be a capital right and a common d when it should be a capital bear in mind that this is the name of a person all right and you do get marks for your capitalization and, and um, punctuation you lose marks if it is that they are not properly done all right and remember it's a block style if i was doing an indented style letter then when i come here i will have to ensure that i put in my punctuation marks before i do that merge before i do that merge if I'm in the block style, I need to ensure that I do not put it in. And you must remember that. All right, so I'm going to go here. After Spanish one, there's a comma. And after Old Arbor, there is a comma. I need to remove it because this is the block style. All right, so I'm going to continue by adding the rest of parishes. So this is my data source. Basically, it is the name and address of all the persons that I want to receive a copy of the letter that I would have typed in Google Docs. All right, and the data source is done in Google Sheets. All right, what is next? Now, please ensure that the same way in which the title, the first name, the last name is written here, that it is backed up. On that primary document in the same way I made a mistake and I had the word title spelled incorrectly all right and if it was not spelled correctly then when the merge was being done it would not have picked up this information all right so you need to ensure that they are the same so my letter is complete and my data source is complete all right what is next now that I have both documents being complete I now need to execute the merge how do i do that i go here to my ribbon and i see something called add-ons i click on that all right and i see autocrat all right autocrat is there which is the add-on that i will be using now if i did not have autocrat then i will go to get add-ons and when i select get add-ons it will take me to all the add-ons that are there in Google and I will select Autocrat. Here is Autocrat and I would have selected it. All right, I'm just going through the process and I select install. All right, then you will be prompted 
I'm going to select continue. All right, so I'm basically going through the process for you to know what to do when your time comes because I'm sure you would not have this on your system as yet. All right, so it is basically signing me in to my Google account. So I'm waiting for that to happen. All right, then I would need to choose the Google account that I am going to place this add-on in. If it's not this one, then I'll use, then need to add another account. But I'm using the one that is here. All right, and it asks me some questions. I would have gone through these already, and I select allow. All right, so AutoCAD has been installed. And I select done. All right, and I can close this dialog box. All right, so let us go again. So I'm going to select add ons, and here is AutoCAD now being installed. I'm going to select open. All right, so once I select open, right, I'm waiting for the AutoCAD. Um, dialog box to appear to start with the merge so it says no merge job set up as yet i'm going to select new job all right it says name your merge job so i need to give the job a name i'm going to name mine mail merge all right and i'm going to select next All right, so it says choose a template. Now, the template that I'm going to choose is the primary letter that was created. And that, that would have been saved in my drive, right? So it says from drive or create an example. I'm going to select from drive. All right, so here it is, primary letter. So I click on that and press select. Waiting for it to be added. Here it is, primary letter. I'm going to select next. So basically, we're going through the motion. All right, it says, step three says, map source data to template. So my source data would be my data source. All right, so I'm, it says merge tab. I'm going to select the down arrow and see what is that. All right, so what is there is sheet one. And if I should look on my data source that is here, I see sheet one at the bottom of that. So I'm going to select sheet one. So it's basically looking for the information for me to map. All right. So see, I see title that is here and it maps to the title in the letter. All right. So everything is being connected. First name to first name. Last name to last name. Street, town, and parish. So everything looks like it's okay. All right looks good so far I'm not going to select next all right so it says no this is the file settings I need to give the file a name what am I going to name the file so I'm going to name this merge letters merged merged letters now the type what do I want it as? A PDF or a Google Doc? I'm going to select Google Docs. All right. And how do I want it to be output? Right. Now it says multiple output or single output mode. Now with multiple output, I'll be getting more than one. So each letter will be a separate document. Whereas with single output, I will get one document with all the letters in it. All right. So because of that, I'm going to select single output. I do not want too much of the same thing. All right, so I'm going to select single output. It says add page breaks between data rows. I do not want any page break. I would like my document to flow from one to the other without any interruption. So I'm going to select no. Once this is complete, I'm going to go to next. All right, so here we are at step five choose destination folder so i'm going to choose a folder that i want 
all this letter to be placed in. And that basically is the folder that we created at the start of this video. So I'm going to go to choose folder, which is going to take me to my drive. And I'm going to select the folder there that was created called name merge. I'm going to click on that and press select. So there it is. I'm now going to press next. It says add dynamic folder reference, which is optional. I don't want that. I'm going to select next. Set merge condition, which is also optional. There is no condition for me. I'm going to press next. Share docs and send emails. Share docs, no. I'm going to press next. Add or remove job triggers, right? No is selected for all of them. And once that is complete, I'm now going to press save. So it says saving job mail merge. All right. So I'm now going to press um, run job to see everything be merged together. So it says running job mail merge. Seven rows will be merged. All right. So currently in the back, you can see the things coming up here. Everything is being merged. All right. So I'm now going to close this dialog box and preview all those documents that were merged. All right, so here they are. But to properly see them, I'm going to go back to my drive and I'm going to go into the folder that was created, Mail Merge, to see them there. All right, so here they are. I'm going to double click for it to be opened. All right, so here we go. Mr. Akeem Dawkins, 45 Mango Avenue, Spanish Town, St. Catherine. Dear Mr. Dawkins, all right. It's not fully opened as yet, but you can see that that is there. All right, and let me quickly, while that is being opened, go back to the um, data source that was created to see. So Akeem Dawkins, Alrika Douglas, etc. All right, Dominic Chang. So all of that should be there. And another thing to note while the document is being properly merged, all right, is that, okay, it's now ready. So let's go down. So Alrika Douglas. And this is the other person, right? Armani and all the others are there. All right, so the merge was su successfully done. All right, now another thing is that you realize that they are in red. And the reason why they came out in red is because in my primary document, I highlighted all my merge fields red. And why I did that is because I wanted you to see them. All right. Once the merge was completed, I wanted to stand out for you to see it. But when you are doing yours, you do not change the color. Everything will be black for you. All right. So that is it. Now, the only thing that is remaining is that... um. For this folder, mail merge, you will now add your primary document and your data source to that so that everything can be found in one place. All right, and that is it. I do hope you understood what took place here today. I do hope it will help you to do your mail merge if it is that you do not have uh, Microsoft Word. All right, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so. And give the video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below also for me to know how this video assisted you. And share with a colleague or a classmate for them to understand what took place here today. Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next upload.